All right, welcome. This month on Spray Paint at Sequence, we have some amazing content for you. Start out with a really nice landscape uh, with some unconventional colors. This landscape, all the colors in the background are very pale because it's very far away and all the colors in the front are very alive. This was inspired by the colors I see in my, my hometown this autumn. And I'll show you how to make a beautiful waterfall in the distance and the snowy cap mountains. And I'll show you how to make uh, foliage, all kinds of, of realistic looking foliage and trees. And even use a, a little transparent color or metallic color to, to make those trees stand out even more. And I'm going to show you how to make the bark on the trees, which is actually a really cool technique. And then Gerardo is going to do some classic planet lessons with you with his gorgeous green colors. He's going to show you kind of an unconventional design and how to make it truly beautiful. How to put one planet in front of another, how to get very natural looking depth in your land. I know a lot of you are fighting with the newspaper and the spray paint and Harado is is the go-to guy. He he invented this stuff. Well he's one of the one of the people that invented this stuff. Um, his particular land techniques are very unique to him and as a teacher for learning how to use newspaper and spray paint to create these gorgeous land textures in my opinion he's just the best and he's going to show you how to do that all how to create these absolutely gorgeous textures and a really cool design in that green painting and then i'm going to show you how to do another kind of snow-capped mountain scene and uh, some other different kinds of plants and foliage and a galaxy in this painting I'm using some different techniques. I work with different kinds of paint because I know a lot of you are in, in different areas of the world and sometimes the paint is a thick paint and it's got rust preventing ingredients and sometimes the thinner paint. So in these videos we're we're using a lot of different types of paint so that you can try these effects and some of them will work really well with your paints and some of them will require some adjustment. This was done with some thin paints uh, called Comex from Mexico. So this should work with a thinner brands like Krylon painter's touch and stuff like that. This as well is a, a, an underwater scene also done with thin paints. And in this uh, painting I show you how to quickly improvise a really depthful underwater scene that you can just feel a lot of life in. And these are done in, in really in minutes, four or five minutes just for the background. And then most of this painting I spend a lot of time talking about how to paint dolphins. I'm going to paint an entire dolphin family here. and. Being able to paint very realistic looking dolphins is a great benefit when you are selling your work. And I go over every detail of how to create these 3D dolphins very, very quickly. And then to wrap it up, uh, we're going to do a jungle painting. Um, this is with American brands using Rust-Oleum and uh, some uh, graffiti cans. Uh, again, switching paint around so that all of you uh, can try new things and, and uh, see what can be done with other other brands and, and do some experimenting and in this I'm going to show you how to make some jungle foliage and there's a lot of focus on making the bark of this tree so I'm going to focus on how to make some realistic bark and also how to make really co cool quick um, little bushes and things like that using um, different layers of paint and newspaper so uh, come to Spray Paint Art Secrets and check it out and become a master of spray paint art. You can keep improving your technique even during the winter by watching these videos. So check it out, spraypaintartsecrets.com. And we have uh, some free materials just for signing up for the mailing list. Um, an awesome video by Hedardo showing you planets and materials lists and stuff. So Spray Paint Art Secrets, sign up today. See you inside. Ciao. Bye.